Hello, welcome to Hydraulic Jeep. Today I will start building my suspension by prepping the axles, uh, cutting all the brackets I'm not going to use. And also I will select uh, lower control arms for my project. But before I do that I need to get rid of my old rusty frame. It's taking space in the garage, there is no room to work. So it will be cut to pieces and scrap. Well, if you have nothing better to do, here it is. Jeep TJ. It's well known for having very short control arms. Uh, 15 and 3 quarter of an inch from bolt center to bolt center. Short control arms and pan hard bars are contributing to quite chaotic axle movement. Meaning when, for example, front axle is dropping down, all the way down, it's also at the same time moving about 4 and a half inches to the back of the vehicle and about 2 inches to the left side you can call suspension like that precision oriented. So I'm gonna have to improve it. But how will I improve it? Of course I will, I will get longer control arms, lower control arms and maybe go with the four link or single triangular upper control arms uh, to get rid of the panel bars. There are lots of products on the market uh, I could buy and, uh, and do that but uh, uh, if I start buying them uh, my wallet will be drained faster than I can blink and I don't want to spend too much money on this project. So I came up with the idea. Why not use stuff that people don't want anymore? What we're looking at here on the floor are stock suspension parts out of a one-year-old Gladiator and one-year-old short LJ. And believe it or not, but I picked them up for $250. How is it possible? Well, it's very simple. People are buying brand new Jeeps and down the road uh, improving them by throwing lift, ki lift kits and uh, big tires on them. And all the stock suspension components are ending up uh, on marketplace being offered for sale. You can pick them up for peanuts. Uh, Gladiator control arm. TJ control arm. There's eight inches difference, and I like it. So, I will gladly use Gladiator components in my projects. I will also use springs from the short LJ.
Every time you're using torch to cut things off your axle, be careful not to cut into axle tube, like I did here. And now I'm going to have to fix it. Welding control arms brackets to the frame must be done with certain amount of precision. I mark center of my frame on uh, rear cross member and on the front one. Shoot the laser line through it. And another laser line is at 90 degrees to the center one. That's where my brackets will go.
The rear axle and lower control arm brackets are tack welded. I'm not going to weld them solid until all the suspension brackets will be in place because uh, I may have to readjust them, move them, you never know. In the next episode, I will build the brackets for uh, the upper rear control arms and I will make the gladiator control arms adjustable. So thanks for watching and see you next time.